welcome back to my channel, I'm Jen, I post videos twice a week and today I'm going to be testing the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer and Foundation. So just recently Collection have updated the packaging and apparently it's new and improved for their foundation and their concealer. So I thought I'd just try it out. I've never tried the foundation before. I am a big lover of the concealer. Apparently they haven't changed the formula, formula at all. Before I jump into the video, I'm going to tell you just a little bit about this foundation. So it is a matte foundation and it says up to 16 hour wear. It now has SPF 30 in it. So that is like one of the new differences and it still is a six in one, primes, conceals, covers, smooths, protects and mattifies. It's water resistant, trans transfer proof, full coverage and it doesn't clog your pores, which is good. So I'm going to be testing both of these out. Uh, I absolutely love the Lasting Perfection Concealer. It is a favorite of mine, though I haven't used it in quite some time. I'm just gonna put up a little picture here of what the foundation concealer used to look like. So I think that the foundation and concealer, they do look cheap. The black plastic top and just the writing in general, you can tell it doesn't cost that much. But with this product, I feel like the new packaging, so this is the foundation, I feel like the new packaging is in a frosted glass bottle again, but it just seems more, like more bougie. This is still like a plastic lid, but this is like a gold shiny one. They've changed like the font and I do think it looks a lot more expensive. Same with the concealer. I think they, they both look really, really nice. So I got the shade 6 Cashew and I have always used the Fair concealer. So this is Fair number 5. So they have said they have got more shades out of the collection. So some shades have changed in like numbers. So this Fair used to be number one and now it's Fair number five because they added more lighter shades. What's very good about the collection is they actually do tell you like, the shades on the website, like what they used to be in case you, you wanna get like the newer version like I did. So yeah, I'm definitely going to try this today and I'm going to do a wear test and first impressions of the foundation. I know the concealer is really nice. I don't have any fake tan on at the minute. I did scrub it off as best as I can. Yeah, let's get straight into the video. So I am moving closer to the camera just so you can see my face a little bit more. I do have dry skin. I have got blemish. I have got this red blemish that has come out of nowhere and it's just like a red dot on my face. Hopefully the concealer will cover that. The concealer and the foundation are medium to full buildable coverage. Okay, so I'm going to use, as always, when I test foundations on my channel, I'm going to prime one side of my face and then leave the other side there. So I'm going to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is just the mini version, but I love it. So I'm just going to apply that on the left side of my face. I do have quite sensitive skin, as you can see, my skin is going red as I rub this in and it is very, very dry. And it's also very hot today. Um, I think it's like 28 degrees, so normally when I get really hot, my foundation likes to separate. This will be a very good test for this foundation. Okay, so I'm going to open the foundation. So you just pull the top off and it's got a pump. I have just squirted a little bit on my hand when I got this just to make sure it was the right shade. And it looks like it is the right shade. So I do love a good pump foundation. I'm just gonna do one pump and dot that around my face. Because I do like normally use just one pump of a foundation and that was actually quite a big pump. The foundation doesn't smell of anything, it just smells like the classic foundation smell that you get from a drugstore. Okay, so I am going to just blend it in with a brush and see what the coverage is like. The foundation did feel quite thick when I put it on my finger, so it is not a very thin, runny foundation. It definitely is on the thicker side but again most full coverage ones are I find but this is seeming to go on really nice it's blending really well with my brush okay so this is the foundation on so far I am really impressed it blended really nice and really quick and it has given me a bit of a glow actually and I don't know if it's meant to do that but I am really happy with how it looks it's like a, it has got a really nice finish to it she says as she blends out more. But I think the match is very close to my skin tone. Also on the collection website, they do have like each shade will tell you what it is for which skin tone and undertone, which is what I really like. That's why I really like the Revolution foundations because it tells you the exact type of skin tone 
a certain shade is for which I find very very helpful especially for people just starting out in makeup uh, yeah really really happy with that so I'm just gonna show you what my skin looks like it hasn't actually grabbed at any dry patches and I thought it would do straight away because my skin is very very dry I do always apply a moisturizer before I put any makeup on because my skin is that dry but yeah so far the foundation is looking really nice on my skin. It hasn't covered this blemish and it's not covered this blemish. But I'm hoping that the concealer will do that for me. But yeah, uh, so far I am actually so surprised. I thought it would cling all to my nose like most foundations do straight away. But so far it actually looks very, very nice. The collection, I remember this concealer taken off when Zoella mentioned it years and years ago. As a favourite concealer. Oh, that is, I think they have changed the dofa applicator because i don't remember it being that long that is very long yeah i don't i think they have changed the applicator for this which is actually really nice it's nice and flat and it's going to be great for under eyes so i'm going to just apply that oh that felt really nice actually i actually much prefer that applicator that is really nice it's nice and thin but you can get it really really accurate so I'm just going to apply a little bit here. So, yeah, I always use this concealer. It's a shame my concealer has just run out. I did actually throw it in the bin about a month ago. But, yeah, this, it, I really liked how this concealer applied. So, what I'm going to do now is just blend it out. It seems to be blending out, again, really easily, really quickly. No problems. Can you see how it's covered my, my red blemish? My red blemish was very, very dark red wow i i actually love that yeah i'm always really happy with the collection concealers i just use a normal sponge just to blend it in under my eyes and it has brightened them really nicely so this is what my foundation looks like with the concealer both blended together nicely covered most of my blemish there but yeah so far i am so happy with how everything looks it does have a nice coverage i would say it is more of a medium coverage but you, I think you can definitely build this to full coverage but yeah so I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup I'm going to just do a quick time lapse Okay, so this is my makeup done. Everything applied really nice and smoothly with the foundation. The foundation is still looking really nice. I think it makes my skin look really glowy. Yeah, it is a really nice coverage. So it will be nice to see what happens throughout the day. So I am actually going to go sit outside for a bit in the sun. So it is about 28 degrees at the minute. So I'm going to check back in with you in one hour three hours six hours and nine hours that's how long most people wear their makeup for just in a normal day if they're going to work or going out for the day so yeah i will see you in one hour okay so this is my one hour check-in so i've just thrown my hair up because i am actually getting really hot also 
Um, but the foundation is looking really nice. I think it looks exactly the same as when I first put it on. I think it gives my skin a really nice finish so far. There's no dry patches. My nose, that gets very, very dry, looks completely fine. Looks very, very smooth and nice. The rest of my makeup still looks really, really nice with it. It's not separated, there's no dryness. So yeah, so far I am really happy, but again, it has only been on for one hour, so we will see what it looks like after three hours. I'll check back in with you then. Okay, so this is my three hour check-in. And again, so far the foundation is looking very nice. Uh, it has worn off a little bit around my mouth, but I have just had my tea. And it's starting to just wear off around the creases of my nose. But apart from that, the foundation is still looking really nice. And my skin isn't looking dry either, which is a very, very big surprise. Foundations normally start to show lots of dry, flaky patches of my skin. But this one hasn't so far, so I am really, really impressed. And yeah, my makeup's still on fine. There is just the tiniest bit bit of patchiness here on my forehead, but you actually can't really tell unless you look directly at my forehead. But yeah, I am so happy with how everything's looking at the minute. I have also been sat in the garden as well, so I have had heat on my face, and it's not, still not separated any of the foundation, which is great. Also, I forgot to mention the primer side and the non-primer side look exactly the same, I think. the uh, You can't really tell which side is primer and non-primer, they both look exactly the same. And I felt like that when I was applying like the makeup and stuff, just thought I'd add that little bit in and I'll come and check back after six hours. Okay, so I'm at the six hour mark now with this foundation and now I am starting to see some dryness, unfortunately. Especially here on my cheeks, I have got quite a bit of dryness showing through. Um, my nose is definitely wearing off at the bottom of my nose and on those creases again and yeah it's starting to wear off on my chin it's starting to push my blemishes through as you can see my little red one there is starting to come through from that concealer I think that still the primer side and the non-primer side look exactly the same so I think for this foundation you don't actually need a primer it doesn't really make much difference. For a matte foundation on my very dry skin, I think it is actually doing really well. So I will check back in with you for the last time at the nine hour mark. Okay, so this is the nine hour mark. Well, it's like nine hours, 15 minutes. And I just wanted to show you the foundation before I scrub it off and then put on a new layer of fake tan. So what I love about the foundation is it doesn't cling to dry patches, even though it is a matte foundation. So apart from my nose here, very dry, but that's like the driest part of my face. And then my chin, it has worn off here, but flakiness and dryness, it is actually a really nice foundation. And the concealer is really good. It did wear off just under my eyes, but I do touch my eyes, especially when they're feeling dry and I've got my contacts in like today. I do try and like rub them a little bit. As you can see, like all around my nose has worn off. It's peaked, that little blemish is gone. It's peeking through in that one and this one here but I went on a walk I've been in the sun a lot of the day I have got hot I got sweaty and the foundation has not separated I think it is a very good foundation if you're going out for a few hours and you just want something cheap if I think it's a really nice foundation if you obviously have oily skin I think it would suit your skin type really well and it would last up to 16 hours and I think it's a good foundation if you are just starting out with makeup and you just want a good cheap foundation uh, and concealer like the concealer again still has really really good coverage that covers like dullness tiredness i would highly rate these two products i definitely think that you should pick it up and try it on the collection website it did say that the foundation the old foundation was just medium coverage and now the newer foundation is medium to full so I think you would be able to get a nice full coverage from this foundation. I think it sits on the skin nicely, it's easy to blend foundation, it's easy to blend with other makeup and yeah it does last, I would say the average for if you have dry skin and sensitive skin like me, I would say it lasts up to 6 or 7 hours before it does start wearing off in different, in different places and stuff like that. But yeah, I really, really like the foundation. I'd say it is a very good drugstore foundation. That is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.